Bible. They were very gifted. They were located in an area that is a seacoast town in the city of Corinth. And everything was going on, similar to Norfolk, Virginia, or some of the seaports where ships and sailors would come in. But it was a very gifted church. They had to get the prophecy, get the healing, and all of that. But they missed out on something that was very important. They forgot to realize that the gifts operate on love. That's why Paul said, if you have the gift of tongues and have that love, it profits you nothing. And he said, whatever your gifts are, if you don't have love, then it defeats the purpose. So what he's doing, the church had become so divided, and the church had become so confused. It had divided itself into different fractions of the, of the church. And one group over there said, I am Paul. Another group said, I am Cephas. Another said, I am Peter. That they were just dividing the church like that. One thing that was important that they forgot in the church, that they lost their own identity. And that whether or not you believe it or not, many of us, if we aren't careful, we will lose our identity. And therefore, you have to recognize that some kind of way you got to position yourself in a way that God will use you in your own way. Now, you may not preach like someone else. You may not sing like somebody. What would be, what would be uh, the difference if you were to get up here and try to act like Whitney Houston, try to hit some of the notes that she hit when she was living, or try to sing like uh, Aretha Franklin, or, or some of those people. No. All of them are different. That's why they have different shows. And because they are just different people. They sing different, they act different. All of them are different. Uh, and that's the way God wants you to do and to be because he made you different. Took you to name and God made you different. Now you got, you got to be satisfied with your ridiculous self. And until you get satisfied with yourself, See, you, you're making a terrible mistake. It's just like some people say, well, I want to get married because I want to be happy. You're making a terrible mistake. Because if you're not happy before you get married, you're not going to be happy after you get married. Then you have to say, well, I know if I get that man, then that man is going to make me happy. That woman will make me happy. Not, not, not so, because if you're not happy before you get that man, if you're not happy before you get that woman, you, you're still in a lot of trouble that you already had before you got involved with them. It starts with you. It's how you feel about you. And you got to get to the place where people got to put up with you because this is all that you got. But when you try to, uh, there's a statement that I gave to y'all some time ago. How can you say that you love me if I try to be somebody else? In other words, if I, and that's not me, it's something I tell people before they get married. I always tell them, I say, look, when you get married, the person that you married is not the person that you dated. Because they did a lot of things to get married. And after they got married, they kind of relaxed. But then you got to understand also that the reason why I married you is because there were some things about you that you did for me and did with me that wanted me to be with you. But now that you stopped it, now we don't have the same emotions toward each other. So don't put up a front and try to act like somebody else. I mean, don't try to talk so sophisticated because it's going to come out after a while and let you know just who you are. Just tell them that this is me and you got to take me for who I am. And then if this is all you're going to get right here. I'm not going to try to be uh, anybody else. I'm not going to try to be like Beyonce. I'm not going to try to act like a uh, Rihanna or anybody else, I'm just going to be me. If, you, if you're going to love me, you got to love me just like I am because I can't be nobody else but me. I'm talking about you being yourself. Tell somebody to be yourself. See, it's cunning. And you get caught up in your own castle of your own selfishness and your own determination of what you see and leave God out of the picture. 